Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tobofo here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the K200 KIFV. The K200 Korean Infantry Fighting Vehicle is a South Korean armored personnel carrier produced by Dawoo Heavy Industries as a domestic replacement for older armored personnel carriers such as the M113. In frontline service with the Republic of Korea Armed Forces at the time of the K200's development. Since 2009, the K200 has been supplemented by the K21. A total of 2,383 K200 vehicles of all configurations were produced between 1985 and 2006, among which are 11 K200A1 vehicles exported to Malaysia. So yeah, this vehicle here is uh, the South Korean's first domestically made armored personnel carrier. It is uh, basically very similar to that of the M1130, which was given to them by the United States. Uh, to supplement their armed forces, but this here is going to be their, or is their replacement, and has been in service for, um, you know, at least a couple decades at this point. So it's a really interesting uh, design here, vehicle, and should be an awesome addition to any of your Korean militaries if you're trying to build those up. We don't have too many South Korean vehicles, so it's always a, you know, fun time to get another one added to our lineup, and uh, continue to expand upon our uh, Asian uh, militaries. Now, uh, with that, let's go and dive in here and take a look at the build. So, as you can see, it's very reminiscent of that of the M113. Uh, very similar in terms of structure. It's basically just a giant box on tracks. Um, but up here in the front, we have the uh, front uh, engine mounted, obviously, here in the front as well. We have the driver's cupola, and we also have a couple hatches up on top here. Uh, one supports a 50 caliber machine gun mount, and then the other one supports probably about like a 7.62 7 millimeter um, machine gun. Uh, probably American versions. And then we have the back of the transport here, uh, which has uh, basically little viewports here for the crew or for the uh, passengers to shoot out of, brake lights, um, just a lot of good detail all the way around it. It's a very simplistic vehicle, should be a pretty quick tutorial for us to knock out here today, but uh, again, we'll make an awesome addition to any of your Korean militaries. With that though, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Moving into our first layer, we're going to go ahead and start off with layer number one. For layer one to get started with, we're going to place down a black concrete block like so. We're going to place down two polished black stone stairs back to back from that black concrete block, another black concrete block, and there are two stairs back to back, and one more black concrete block to go ahead and finish off that for the treads. We're going to place down another brick upside down stair on both ends of the build like so. And then coming off the narrow brick stairs, we're going to place down three uh, dark prismarine top slabs over. We're going to go ahead and connect those rows of three of dark prismarine top slabs together by going ahead and forming the bottom here of the uh, personnel carrier. On this side here, we're going to do the same thing for the track. So we have the narrow brick upside down stair, the black concrete, and so on and so forth. I'm going to go and do this a little bit quicker as it's the same thing as the other side. Now once we have that done, we're going to place down an item frame on these black concrete blocks and in those item frames we're going to place down green stained glass panes. We're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well. And if you're on Java, we can go ahead and also place down a dark oak wood button on the side of those black concrete blocks. Now just a little side note here is that if you're on Java, you can place down a button and item frame in the same block space. If you're not on Java, you'll unfortunately not be able to do that and you'll have to just settle with just placing down the item frame. Um, unfortunately, that's the way it is, but, um, you know, again, do whatever you need to for the version you're on. Now, once we get to this point, we do have this banner design. Now, this banner design is really simple. I'm not going to show you guys how to make it in the loom because it's only two steps. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a uh, green banner. We're going to go and split it in half. So, we're going to have black on the left side of one banner and the black on the right side of the other banner. Once you have those banners both done, we're going to then take black die again. And for both banners, we're going to do a horizontal line directly through the center. Uh, horizontally. So really straightforward. That's the design you want. You should get these two banners really, really easy. Um, we're going to place these banners here on the sides of these stairs with the green facing toward each other like this to go ahead and help create our wheel spacing and just give our uh, road wheels here a little bit more detail on the build. So that's all you want to do there. Really straightforward and simple. Now once that's done on the back here, last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame here to both sides. Uh, in those item frames, we're going to place down tripwire hooks, rotate them so they face downwards. And then we're going to go and place down a dark oaked fence gate, come off this slab here and open the fence gate toward that slab. So really simple stuff. And that is going to finish off what we have for layer number one. Here is a top down view of what that looks like. 
And with that, we'll be going ahead and jump into our next layer, layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to start with, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across the front here. This can be followed with a dark prismarine slab to both sides, an item frame, and then a cobweb in those item frames. Same thing will be done over here on this side as well. We then want to take our green stained glass panes and place down a row of five across the front here. And then going back from these slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nether brick slabs. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven back like that. Then we're just going to place down a dark prismarine slab to the sides here, an item frame and a cobweb in the item frame coming off these slabs here. And then we're going to place down two dark liquid signs going forward on those narrow brick slabs and going back from the forward ones. So just like this on both sides. And then in the middle here, we're just going to fill this in with green terracotta. So we're going to bring this all the way back to the last row of dark prismarine top slabs on the back here. On top of that, we're coming off this row here, we're going to place down three green stained glass panes, and then a polished black stone upside down stair here to the sides. And on the sides of that polished black stone stair, we're going to place down a dark oak with sign. So just like that to both sides. And once that's all done there, that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer two. So again, real simple. And here's what it looks like from the top down. And we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number three. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to start with, we're going to place down a row of three green terracotta across the front here. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trapdoor across these three blocks and close them like so. To the sides, we're going to place down a dark prismarine stair. And then taking our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of five all the way across. We're going to place down a second row of five. Then we have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight like that going back. We're going to go and then take our mossy cobblestone walls, place down a row across this space here, a item frame to the sides. And in those item frames, we're going to go and place down a red apple like this for the taillights of the vehicle. So it will look just like that there. Really easy layer, that's it for layer three, and we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to start with, we're gonna place down a dark prismarine stair to this side here, then two green shortcut boxes, and then two dark prismarine stairs over to the side. We're gonna go ahead and also grab ourselves some levers, and on top of these green terracotta blocks here, we're gonna place down levers and make sure they're pointed back toward the actual structure there of the vehicle. Behind these uh, shortcut boxes, we're gonna go ahead and place down two rows of two of deep slate tile blocks and then green terracotta to the sides and then two rows of two over here to the left side. So you have two rows of two on the left side and one row of two on the right side. We're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of five and then a second row of five after that. To the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four. Dark prismarine stairs back, one, two, three, four. And in this middle space, we're just going to go ahead and place down four rows of three of green terracotta filling that inside space in. Now to the sides, on the middle two stairs, we're going to place down item frames to both sides. And then in those item frames, we're going to place down black beds, rotate them sideways, and we're going to go ahead and then place down dark oak with signs on the fronts of the stairs. Again, the signs will be placed only if you're on Java. If you're not on Java, just go ahead and place down the item frames and disregard the signs. So just like that to both sides there. After that is all done there, um, the last thing to do here, or one of the last things, is to place down an item frame coming off these stairs here, and in that item frame we're going to place down a snowball, like that for the front headlights. And after that's all done, that's going to wrap up everything we have for that, and the very last thing we have is to make that banner design, which is the Korean flag on the side of the armor personnel carrier. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials to make that banner and we'll go ahead and make it. All right guys, so when it comes to making that banner that you can see over there, it's really straightforward and simple to do. What we're going to do is we're going to need a loom, we're going to need a red banner, one blue dye, one white dye, and two green dye. We're going to go ahead and go into our loom, we're going to place down our red banner and our blue dye. We're going to select the line that goes horizontally, splitting the banner, or sorry, I should say um, basically diagonally, splitting the banner with the blue on the bottom and the red on top. So this right here is what you want. We'll grab that banner, put it back into our loom. We'll then take our white dye and we're going to go and select this kind of jagged border that goes around it like so. So I'll create that design there. And then we're going to place down our green dye into our loom and we're going to go and select the line that goes across the top third of the banner and the line that goes across the bottom third. So it's going to create this design here and that's going to represent our Korean flag that we're going to put on the side of the vehicle. Now this here is going to go on this third green terracotta block from the front. So it's going to go there and to this side over here as well to basically, you know, mark it as the Korean military vehicle. 
Anyways, though, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number four. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our last final layers. All right, guys, so moving into our last final layers, we have layers five, six, and seven. For these layers to start with, we're going to place down a uh, stack of blue black candles on top of these shulker boxes. So we're just going to place down a stack of four, just like that. Then we want to place down a zombie head that's going to go on top of this stair here. And behind that stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark prismarine slab. So just like that behind it. And then a zombie head here to the side. And we'll also go ahead and grab ourselves a flower pot. And we're going to flow a flower pot here in the corner like so. We are going to go and then grab a redstone repeater. We're going to place down a redstone repeater behind the slab. Separate the notches like so from those like that. And then on top of the... A uh, deep slate slab here. We're going to place down a upside down uh, prismarine stair and then a green terracotta block behind it. Now on the sides of the green terracotta, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to the sides. And then we're going to place down a block here that goes forward from this uh, stair diagonally out to the sides. And coming off the side of this block, we're going to place down a zombie head, delete those blocks behind it, and that's going to create this uh, front portion like so. On the side of the mossy cobblestone wall here to the outside, we're going to place down an item frame, black concrete in the item frame, and if you're on Java, a dark oak would sign on the side there as well. We're also going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall here, and then we're going to place down a green stained glass pane in the corners there around that. Now, after that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood fence gate that's going to sit here, right up next to this wall. Open that fence gate toward the back. Coming off the fence gate, we're going to place down a slab. And then we're going to place down a zombie head here to the side of the slab and then a red star repeater with a notch spread apart right behind that. So it's going to uh, create those hatches there up on top. Now after that's done, we're going to take our daylight detectors. We're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a second row of three, a dark prismarine slab in the middle, and then another daylight detector to both sides. We're going to go and then take our flower pots, place it down on top of these stairs. And... We're going to go ahead and take a dark oak wood fence post and place it down on this second stair from the front. And we're going to place down two chains or two iron bars that go up like that from those to create the radio antenna. Now, the last things we're going to be doing here is putting the guns on the thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some deep slate tile slabs. We're going to place down a slab on top of the stair and then one more going forward. We then want to go ahead and place down a... Um, sign on both sides of this first slab and then we're going to place down an end rod and then a chain like that and then we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, trap door that is going to sit on top of these walls and we're going to have it open up like so and then coming off the uh, tra trap doors here we're going to place down a zombie head going forward so it's going to look like that and then to complete the gun, we're going to go ahead and grab a wither skeleton skull and place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the slab. So it's going to look like that there for your 50 caliber gun mount. Our small caliber gun uh, to the side here is just going to be a deep slate uh, slab on top of this fence gate. We're going to go ahead and place down a chain coming off of it, a wither skeleton skull on the back, and then one zombie head here to the left side. So just like that for the smaller gun. And the very last thing to do here is to place down an item frame on top of this block right here. And in that item frame, we're going to place down an iron bar. Once we have that all done, though, that is going to wrap up layers 6 and 7 of the build. And with that, that's going to complete my tutorial here for the K200KIFV. Hope you guys do enjoy this vehicle and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be a thing from the side of the build to link to my channel or this video if this doesn't bring you social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 and I'll see you guys next time.